Hi, this is Pavel and this is the conclusion of our C-Sharp exercise with Windows Forms. And um, in this part, uh, we will be dealing with the search by name option where the user uh, enters a name that he or she wants to search and all the information, the ID, the name, the discount code, a rate will be displayed in the other text box. So let's do that. Uh, First, let me do a little comment here. We will include in, in include so-called early exit logic. Basically, once the name is found, stop searching. In this case, it really doesn't matter because there's only like 10 names, not even. But if you had a really big, uh, really long list, you don't want to keep searching for a name when it's already found. So this is a good practice to kind of implement. Another thing, we will need to only search if a text box or if a text was entered. Meaning that uh, if you click the uh, search by name and no search term was actually entered uh, you know, into the text box, don't do any search. I mean, there's nothing to search for. So just inform user that he or she needs to enter uh, a name to search. So we will do our if. This is a simple one. If a search name that text doesn't equal or is not uh, empty. And we also have to make sure that we don't try to search uh, uh, as we are looping through the customers. We don't want to loop indefinitely. We want to loop only as uh, long as there are customers in the arrays. All right. So, so if the text box is not empty, or if the user entered something, and the number of customers is not zero, so the number of customers is not equal zero, then we can search. This basically means that the search term was entered. And it also means that the arrays were actually loaded before. Remember, there's a button that uh, loads the arrays. We need to load them, otherwise there's nothing to search for. So uh, these two conditions have to be true for us to be able to uh, actually search or perform the search. Now, I'm going to uh, click, uh, do something a little differently here. Uh, I'm going to call a button click sort by name click all right and we will send the sender an e and all this does is this is simply calling the event that sorts the arrays by name because we are going to be searching for it. We could simply try to match it, but uh, this exercise actually wants us to have the array sorted before. I and mean, we already have it sorted in that click. So um, basically it will perform whatever uh, functionality this button has assigned to. It's not necessary again, but uh, just to kind of show you a little different things that you can do in your own exercises later, you know, if necessary. So um, we'll do that. So the array will be sorted. And now we will do our string. We will create a string called search name. And it will equal to the txt search name dot text. And we already know that there's some text entered because we already checked right here into our condition. So we can directly assign it to our variable. Another variable I'm going to use is a boolean code found. This is for the early logic. I'll assume it was not found at the beginning. And if it is, then that's when we enter, uh, that's when we exit the, the search because we know that now it will be found or that it was found. And I need a, a index of, uh, for, for our loop because I'm going to be using a while loop in this case. Again, just something different, just so, so you can see different ways of doing things. It's not necessarily optimal, but it will show you, uh, you know, different loops and different ways to put things together. 
so uh, we are doing a while so while it is not found so and oops and while the i is less than number of customers and at the beginning it is because it's zero okay so we will search until name is found or until all names were search okay so this would be the first condition if it's found or if there's no more customers to search and if th that's the truth then the, the name doesn't exist if this is true then the name was found and we exit in any case we exit so um, let's compare let's do the comparison if string dot compare and we did it before in our previous uh, video so if the name of i and let's do it to upper so if, if the user if the user enters uh, you know lowercase uh, and tries to compare it to our name it wouldn't wouldn't work it would uh, not match but if we con uh, convert it all to uppercase then uh, even different cases of the uh, text the user enters will still match the actual name so except again this is supposed to be name with lowercase and it keeps switching it to uppercase for some reason anyway so i dot to upper and let's compare the compare that to the one that we or uh, that the user entered so it's the it's the search search name oh did i enter it sorry it's supposed to be lowercase of course that's that's the way the naming convention is so if the search name to upper if, if the text the user entered to search matches one of the names in the arrays which basically means that it equals to zero so if this is true i'll just comment it string matches string match uh, and we can do the found equals now true so we will exit the while loop because the, that only uh, the while loop only works if the found is not true and we need the and we can break so again that's the early exit no need to uh, keep searching we already found the name we are looking for else if the string that compare the name uh, name i and again to upper and we are comparing it to the uh, again the search name and we'll convert it to uh, to upper but in this case if it's uh, greater than zero then we know that they, there won't be any more uh, there's no way that the name exists because we have them sorted in order so in, in alphabetic order remember we call the uh, the sort by name over here so if they are sorted and the second name uh is uh, if this equal if this string comparison uh is greater than zero then we know that uh, the first string is greater than the second which means that there, there simply cannot be the name uh, in our array and no need to keep uh, searching anymore again we can implement the early exit but let me comment that so first string is greater than second so there can't be a match so we can now exit it's the same thing um, we will simply break 
Okay, and um, so this is our if statement. Now we will need to uh, increase the index to search next name. I mean, if ne neither of this is true, then it's simply, remember, we're still in a while loop, so it goes to the next name. If any of this is true, then the either we found the, uh, the string or the string simply cannot be found. And then we exit. But if neither of this is true, we'll go to the next name. So we have to in increment the index. Okay, so now after the while loop is done, if we know that if found, then we can display the information in the in the text box. So we will do our text search results the text equals and we will do the ID of I and we know we can do that because uh, we exited it so it remembers what the last I was and that's the one that is actually uh, match that's the one that we are using so we will do that ID plus comma plus name I plus another comma plus code I plus another comma and finally we will add the rate okay plus rate I all right uh, so that's if it's found else it means it wasn't found either because we exited early because it couldn't be found or we went all the way through and the name simply doesn't exist uh, so we will simply display a message box show and we will say name you are looking for does not exist all right okay so this is the this is the while loop but we still remember we are searching here or we, we, we check in if the number of customers if, if the uh, array or all the arrays uh, from the text files were loaded so if that's not true uh, nothing would really happen but we it's better to inform the user that uh, what's actually going on so let me see which the which one is the corresponding one so this one is the one so we will do the else statement and over here we will do another message box you know what let me just copy the whole thing the message box thing and we will do cannot perform the search search please make sure the arrays were loaded and that the name to be searched was entered remember there's two conditions we need to make sure that the, the arrays were loaded from this button and that we are actually having some kind of a, a search term to search okay so um i think this will do it let's see if it works or if there's any bugs Well, the form loaded. All right, so um, let's say I try to search by name and it says, cannot perform the search. Please make sure the forms were loaded. I mean, the arrays were loaded. So let me load the arrays and do it now. It still is not happy because I still need to search the name. So let's search for Davis, which is this name. But you know what? Let me do it a uh, lowercase and it st still should find it even though Davis in the actual file is a capital D. So if I click the uh, search by name here's the corresponding information 20 and oh, oh, 005 if i search uh, lopez uh, let's say i'll do all capitalized and it found lopez right here 404 there you go okay so um 
if I sort by ID, it simply works just like from the previous videos. And if I try a name that doesn't exist, I got a name. Uh, it says name you are looking for does not exist. I got a message like that. All right, so uh, this seems to be working. Um, yeah, that's it. So I hope uh, this was helpful. If it was, please leave a like, leave a comment, uh, share with your friends. And I will see you in some other exercise.